Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome back to another video. Given the limitations in the Pine Screener, you cannot currently screen for a power earnings gap. However, with a few simple steps, you can be alerted whenever a power earnings gap occurs so you can build your own custom watch list. Let me show you how easy this is. We'll need three different things. We'll need a watch list to use as our baseline to screen from. We're going to need to configure the power earnings gap information that we want to search for. For example, the gap up price percentage, as well as the volume percentage change, and any optional information such as an earnings surprise requirement. And then what we'll do is we'll configure an alert based on the watch list using those power earnings gap criteria that we just configured. So let me show you how to pull all these pieces together. The first thing we'll need is a watch list. If you already have a watch list of stocks that you consider to be good candidates for potential trades, then you're good to go. If not, let me show you how to create a very simple watch list. Down here in the lower right, I'm going to select this icon. This brings up the stock screener. And here you can see the basic criteria that I like to use. I'm looking for price over $15, the 30-day average volume over 500K. I like the low to be above the 200 SMA. And in the exchange, I just like to turn off the over-the-counter stocks. Once we set those criteria, you can see we now have 789 symbols. I'm going to go ahead and select the first entry in the list and scroll all the way to the bottom. And once I get to the last entry, I'm going to select it. I'm going to right click and choose this option here, add selected to watch list. I'm going to create a new list and let's call this power earnings gap two. And when I close down my stock screener, you'll now see up here, we're dealing with the power earnings gap two watch list that we just created. So the next thing we need to do is to configure the power earnings gap requirements that we want to look for. Before I do that, I'm going to scroll down here to affirm and show you a power earnings gap that occurred today. So you can see it occurred right here on this bar. And what we're trying to accomplish here is to get an alert that looks similar to this when a power earnings gap occurs for any of the symbols in this watch list. So let's go ahead and configure the power earnings gap criteria. Up here in the upper left, I'm going to choose the trend follower indicator and we're going to go into the settings and scroll down to the bottom. The first two entries here deal with how the power earnings gap appears on the chart. For example, the reference right here is this vertical line that shows up whenever there's a power earnings gap. The text label that's referenced right here is this text right here. You can turn either one of those options off or on to meet your preferences. The next configuration value here is the percentage and price change that we want to be considered a power earnings gap. In a similar line of thinking, this is the volume percent change that we want. And this is in relation to the 50 day average volume. You can also select to have a positive earnings surprise as one of the requirements. For example, this is currently enabled. And what that means is there must be an earnings surprise of at least 10%. For example, if I go back here to the chart and I select this earnings report, you can see right here, there was a surprise of almost 71%. So let's go back into the settings, scroll back down to the bottom and show you the last option right here. This requires the gap up bar low to be above the prior bar high. I like to have this set because that creates a visual gap on the chart from the prior bar to the current bar. So that's a personal preference. You can toggle that off or on for whatever you think makes the most sense for you. Now that we have all those criteria set, it's very simple to actually apply that power earnings gap information to our watch list. If we go up here in the upper right, and we choose this drop down. you'll see the first option is to create an alert on the watch list. All we need to do once the dialogue is shown is choose the trend follower indicator right there and choose the power earnings gap right here. And now you can configure any of the other values to meet your preferences. One thing that I like to do is to give this a name. And once we have that alert name configured, if we now choose this option right here to bring up the alerts, you'll see it right here. It's got a nice label. If you double click on it, you can go in and change any of the criteria that you like. At this point, there's nothing further that we need to do. Anytime there's a power earnings gap on any one of the symbols in this watch list, you'll get a notification similar to this. 
if you have notifications on your other devices, for example, a mobile phone, you'll get the notifications there as well. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found that helpful. I appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video.